There was this time I was riding shotgun. My wife was driving. We had just entered the society where we live and nearing the home, just one turn away. And my wife honked. Speed limits are 20 kilometers an hour. The lanes are narrow, but you have mirrors at the corners. And she honked. A small society, barely any traffic. She honked. Who does that? Why would you do that? Wouldn't you just drop your speed, accommodate the idea into your driving plans that there might be somebody coming around the corner and just to take it a little bit easier, just be a bit more careful instead of honking? This is probably what I would say to my son eight years later when he starts learning to drive. Hopefully I don't, but just in case I do, I've already said it. But since this was my wife driving at that point, what I said was, honking in this kind of an environment especially shows that you don't feel like you're in control. And honking to me is exactly that. You use the horn when you don't feel you're in control. Honking for regular use shows that you're not in the right state of mind. You're not reading the traffic and the environment around you well enough or you aren't adapting to that environment well enough. Driving through traffic, you should be able to sense the pace and what people are doing. We cannot change the environment that we're in. So by honking, we are not going to be able to do that. We should be able to drive in a manner that we can flow smoothly and cleanly through the traffic. I know people use the horn as their private motorcade, you know, to announce your arrival, clear the way in front of you. But does that really work? Not for me, it hasn't. Some others use the horn as, you know, the Purana Zamane ke teacher ki chadi to teach other people a lesson, like on expressways, when somebody's hogging the fast lane, sitting there at 70 kilometers an hour, honk until that guy moves out of the way. Sure, great idea. But personally for me, I'm not going to play it by the book. For me, it just makes more sense to slide around, undertake and move on. The honking probably isn't going to teach him how to drive better, but it is going to make your day worse. And that's just it. Honk not to save the environment to reduce noise pollution, but to be kinder to yourself. Honking less will mean that you are being less stressed while driving because you will invariably end up paying more attention to the environment, to the conditions that you're in and adapting and adjusting accordingly. And that can make all the difference when you're driving And from making it stressful to making it enjoyable. There was a long time that I didn't honk at all. And I was, I thought I was doing a great thing. But by the end of it, I realized that I was just a bundle of nerves by the end of it. Because I wouldn't even honk when I was being squeezed. Which was stupid of me. And then when I did honk that one time, it felt like an immediate and intense sense of release and relief. Because that is important. Using the horn at the right time is important. It makes you more visible. It draws the attention of people who aren't that alert. And sometimes there are people who are barely even awake while driving. In which case, using the horn is fine and justified. But that's just it. Use the horn in short bursts. Like this video. Keep it short and sweet.